Ladies and gentlemen, looks like we have a bit of a water theme going on with our coaster spotlights this week as we just finished featuring Wavebreaker in yesterday's video. We're going to be looking at Atlantis Legend of Elf Federa. It's created by one of our legend builders, Beartastic, who was recently featured a few weeks ago. And here they say, there is a tale about a city that has been eaten up by the sea. Before its downfall, Atlantis was considered one of the most developed cultures in the world. Its inhabitants were wealthy and powerful, their homes beautifully decorated and filled with riches as Atlantis sunk into the ocean. With all its palaces and treasures, its inhabitants lost everything. On the ocean floor, a sea dragon named Alphadera found the city and made it its home. Alphadera is big, mean, underwater dragon that is fascinated with anything shiny. It collects all the riches it finds inside the city. The dragon does not want to be disturbed and attacks any intruders that try to steal its treasures. I made this mini park for Digital Dance Alton Towers Project Horizons Challenge, which I ended up getting placed first out of 120 submissions. Crikey, wow. Hope you enjoy. Boom. There it is. Wow, freaking we. All right, let's uh let's take a closer look at this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the coaster. Let's look at all the results if you'd like to see them. There is a custom soundtrack which we have gotten here, and uh let's get to it. I'm not exactly sure how I should be riding this. Should I go this POV? I guess we could ride it twice. We'll do track view after this. Oh, holy good googly moogly bear tastic that was absolutely fantastic dare i say one of the best if not the best underwater creations and uh definitely taking use out of that theme maker toolkit let's check this out in track view ah how do i do it how do i do it here we go once again
Wow, freaking we yet again. Oh my god, this is incredible. Uh, what I really like about this, the way it's like choreographed and... Oh, oh we're outside. <laughs> the way it's choreographed and designed, it's, it's almost something like you'd see from like a Disney Indiana Jones adventure ride. And it, it's something that you would see in real life, but just taken to the next level. Obviously, there's certain elements and design features that are done in Planet Coaster that wouldn't be done in real life, but they actually worked here in a way that was somewhat believable. And, you know, it felt to me like we, we were riding a ride and everything was choreographed as is if it wasn't trying to pretend to be something else and in fact felt like it was designed to be that of a roller coaster or dark ride experience and I, I really appreciate the levels of realism there but what's even crazier is all the use of the t theme maker toolkit I see stuff that I've never seen before and this is why I was saying like this might be just one of the best underwater experiences I've ever seen and that's because it's been elevated so much by what you've done you did the way you did the panels is really good I had to turn reshade off for this too because I was trying to hide all of the uh, little panels and stuff and they show up a little bit more when using reshade but this looks absolutely phenomenal like the way you've designed the lighting and <clears throat> put everything together for a, just a default planet coaster experience and again like these theme maker toolkit items this really does feel like the city of Atlantis underwater <clears throat> I love what you did again with the lighting and the atmosphere the music went really well with it and we get into this dark ride section and it really just starts to come together this is what i was saying like it has these elements of realism almost like an indiana jones experience there, there's little things here and there that you would see in a in a real life experience uh dark ride um it was super epic and you're using all these little downloadables like the turtles and the fishies swimming about and we were we've been talking about frame rates and things like that this this whole overall park in this project it's getting i mean at times it goes up to a nice 45 but i, I saw it go as low as 30 fps and we, we were talking about um i love how you hid these through the panels and then they reveal themselves the underwater dragon you got a little bit of a story going there um but yeah the uh theme maker toolkit can really take a hit on performance and i think it's best used in scenarios like this right we see these big parks where people are wanting to put all these like bits and doodads in their shops throughout this mega park and i really just think it just bogs down your frame rate where it doesn't need to um but when you're building a ride like this i think these extra elements that don't exist in planet coaster because this is a uh, uh, some, somebody created this and it was downloaded separately but i guarantee you the poly count on this thing is absolutely insane because i can barely even see the polygons on this because somebody has put the uh in blender or maya or 3d studio max whatever program they use to make this uh they have just hit the smooth polygon button this is probably thousands of polygons because normally if it's a low budget asset you can almost see the jagged lines where the polys would be but this is such a high quality mesh in terms of uh how many times the smooth tool has been hit in the the 3d asset that i, I almost guarantee that this is a couple thousand polygons and in you know in comparison to certain things that are low poly like this this is a polygon that's a polygon that's a polygon it's much less and less and less. So that's gonna take a hit on your performance because these creators are not game designers. They just wanna build stuff and throw it in the game and it will eventually bog down your performance where in this setting, it works really, really well because you get to introduce all of these things that we've never seen before to create a uh, larger than life experience that's more, more unique and more abstract. And uh, you just don't get these types of dark rides in the park spotlights. And this absolutely, is the way to feature it is in an, its own individual spotlight but you did say that it was for digital Dan's contest so making it a bite size just a one ride one queue type thing makes a lot of sense for a contest so it all came together quite nicely and I'm I'm happy to be able to feature it here as a coaster spotlight on the channel. So Beartastic just pulling out all the stops. Uh, we recently saw one of the most epic creations ever made by him. And this is just another one for the books. Um, a little bit smaller in scale, obviously, but really high. This is a, a quality over quantity experience. I mean, just look at this, the way the lighting and everything comes together. It's quite a, a beautiful and remarkable scene. Wow. 
lot to be proud of with this one. Bear-tastic. I could definitely see why you're a winner in the contest for this. Um, absolutely amazing. Really well done. So there it is. We didn't really take a look at the outside. You got this big building here. I'm actually curious to know how many pieces it all required to build this, but you do have a little park area, which I also tried to include in the B-roll, but it's very atmospheric out here as well. And I've never seen like an uh, a, an outdoor area made to feel like an underwater park so captivating the way you've done it here and you've done that all through the lighting right you have these little hot spots of light here and there and um it's almost like the light is shimmering through the the ocean <laughs> above which were, which is actually non-existent you've made it really believable in the sense that uh i feel like i'm underwater in a park it would be extremely expensive and hard to make a whole park or a an area of a park to this style so this is one of the rare opportunities that we we get to actually experience that here in a small bite-sized portion and i really appreciate that so there it is there's a look at it ladies and gentlemen wow what an amazing creation from an amazing creator in Beartastic. what did you think of this throw your comments down below and that is going to do it for us in today's episode of coaster spotlight thank you all so much for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day bye now